Hi everyone, my name is Atul Kumar and in this module we are going to look at how to install, configure and integrate identity and access management. So identity and access management mainly consist of Oracle Identity Manager and Access Manager. There are few other components as well as part of identity and access management. The primary focus is going to be on Oracle Identity Manager and Access Manager components of identity and access management. So let's do a quick introduction about myself. My name is Atul Kumar. As I said, I'm an Oracle Ace with 16 plus years of experience on identity and access management, Oracle Apps GBA, database and Fusion Middleware applications. I'm author of two books and I blog on Online Apps GBA and founder of K21 Academy. So let's look at the agenda of this module, what all things we are going to cover in this module. So we'll start with Identity Manager, Access Manager installation overview. So for now, I'm going to call it Identity and Access Management. So I'll use OIM, OAM installation interchangeably with Identity and Access Management, IDAM. Then we'll look at IDM LCM tool which stands for Identity Management Lifecycle Management Tool. Then we'll check manual installation and followed by installation high level steps. If you need to do a manual installation, what are the high level steps? Then we will go in detail on each of these installation steps for installing and configuring identity and access management. Then we are going to do a hands-on where we'll be logging on to the server and installing the software using step-by-step -step instructions available from your membership portal. So let's look at the installation overview for identity and access management components from Oracle. So the installation of identity and access management can be either automated deployment using LCM tool. So Oracle Identity and Access Management from 11GR to PS3 version onwards come with a tool called IDM LCM tool. And using this tool, you can deploy and integrate and install and configure Identity and Access Management using the automated process. But there are some limitations with that and you don't get a true picture of what's happening behind the scene when you integrate that using IDM LCM tool. Then you have a manual method where you'll be doing all the steps manually by installing and configuring and integrating the components. This is a little bit more time consuming and a little bit complex compared to the automated deployment, but you learn more doing the manual install. In our hands-on, we are going to focus on or will follow manual method of install and configure. So let's first look at what is this IDM LCM tool that stands for Identity Management Lifecycle Management Tool. So as I said earlier, this is a lifecycle management tool that is used to automate the IDM deployment. So you can configure an automated method of installing, configuring and integrating all or the components that are part of identity and access management. You can use this tool to patch the identity management software. And then also you use this tool to upgrade the identity and access management. As I said earlier, there are some limitations with that. So check this tool thoroughly if you're planning to use IDM LCM tool, whether it supports your topology, what the topology is, and what are the various options. I'm going to cover them shortly. Then IDM LCM tool also uses an environment health check utility to verify the prerequisite before installing software. And it also run a check after installing that installation has completed successfully or not. So IDM LCM tool support various deployment topologies. First of them is OIM only topology. What does that mean that if you want to deploy just Oracle Identity Manager. So Identity and Access Management has a lot of components like Identity Manager, Oracle Privileged Account Manager, Identity Analytics, Oracle Access Management, 
identity federation oid oud ovd and lot of other products so if you need just oracle identity manager then idm lcm tool supports that other one is you have oam omss so oam stands for oracle access management and omss stands for mobile security suite so if you need an oracle access manager with oracle mobile suite then you can use idm lcm tool then if you have third topology where you want oracle identity manager access manager and mobile security suite topology then you can use idm lcm tool in our deployment we are going to use third topology where we'll install oim oam omss but using manual rather than idm lcm tool so here are the examples of these topologies so first is oracle identity manager only topology where you have deployment like this using idm lcm tool so you have database for oracle identity manager and you have various schemas created that are required for oracle identity manager so for example oracle identity manager opss that stands for oracle platform security services soa suite identity manager needs oracle soa and i'll explain that shortly on why you need soa then it creates schema or you need bi platform if you have reporting as well then you have mds which is metadata services or a spdm and then web service manager policy manager or policy store so these are all schemas that you create our this idm lcm tool is going to create if you want to do it manually you create that manually then you have a web logic domain and in that domain you create an admin server and three managed servers one managed server is for oracle identity manager second managed server is for oracle soa suite and third managed server is for business intelligence or bi for reporting purpose so if you use oim only topology you get this then you deploy ohs on top and so client will make a connection to ohs ohs via mod wl ohs this is a module in oracle http server so we have a additional lesson on oracle http server or what is the web server and what it does and how does mod wl ohs comes into play we'll cover that separately so you connect to the ohs forward request to this web logic domain depending on the request type it may forward it to the admin server or identity manager server or the soa suite so you have ohs you have a identity governance domain with an admin server and three managed servers and then you have database with schemas so this is oim only topology then you have oracle access manager oracle mobile suite topology in this topology you have two databases one is for oracle access manager database and mobile suite database and third is for oid because oracle access manager delegates all its authentication to an external ldap server by default it comes with its own embedded ldap server but we'll cover that in detail in oracle access manager course if you are attending this course somewhere else so you put or in this topology you have two databases one for oracle access manager and oracle mobile suite second database for oid or ldap server like oud or oid now you have one domain and that is marked for identity and access management access domain so oam and omss are part of access management category so what you do or this topology you create a web logic domain with an admin server and three managed servers first managed server is for oracle access manager or oracle access management and other two servers are for mobile suite which is ama and msm so these are for mobile again we are not going to cover this in course but this topology install and configure these two additional managed servers and then again you have a oracle http server with mod wl ohs which is a module in web logic and then it also has a web gate the function of web gate again is covered in oracle access manager training so if you are watching this training in 
Oracle Access Manager. There is a subsequent lesson on WebGate and we are going to cover this in detail. But if you're watching this module at some other training, you will not be able to see this. If you're watching this in Oracle Identity Manager, we are not going to cover WebGate. Then you have a MSAS proxy. Again, that's a mobile related, so you can skip that. Uh, that's not covered in Oracle Access Manager course or Identity Manager course. So in this topology, you have a database. In fact, two databases, or maybe you can put only one database and both OID and OM and OMS schemas are in the same database. But you create a WebLogic domain for Oracle Access Manager in which you have an admin server and three managed servers and an Oracle HTTP server with a web gate. So I repeat, you have a OHS, which is an Oracle HTTP server or a web server. Then you put identity and access management domain. So I am access domain with one admin server and three managed servers. This first managed server is for Oracle Access Manager and other two managed servers are for Oracle Mobile. Then you have a database. Then the third topology IDM LCM tool support is OIM, OAM, OMSS. Oracle Mobile Suite, Oracle Access Manager, Oracle Identity Manager. And this is one of the most common deployments you will see across enterprises. Now, we are going to follow this kind of deployment if you're doing it on enterprise applications. So what you have in this is you have three different databases. One database is for Oracle Identity Manager or Oracle Identity Governance. Second database is for Oracle Access Manager. And third database is for OID uh, if you have OID. Or you can have a another LDAP server, which is here OUD, but then OUD doesn't need a database. So you have two domains. One is access governance domain and second is IAM access domain. In this domain, you have a one admin server and three managed servers. This was OIM only topology. Then you have one admin server and other three managed server, one for OAM and two for mobile suite that we saw in OAM, OMSS topology. So you mix these two, you have two domains and you have Oracle HTTP server with mod WLOHS and WebGate in front. This access domain and governance domain both talking to the LDAP server. Why it needs to talk to the LDAP server? How we configure these with an LDAP server like OID or OUD? We'll be seeing that in subsequent lessons. For Oracle Identity Manager, there is something called as LDAP Sync. For Oracle Access Manager, there's something called as an LDAP integration or identity store. These will be covered in the respective trainings separately. So in this topology, what you have is you have Oracle HTTP server on the top, then you have Oracle Identity and Access Management access domain, which is represented here by one admin server and three managed servers. And then you have Identity Governance domain with one admin server and in fact, three managed servers, OIM, SOA, and BI. And then you have the databases. So this is one of the most common deployment topologies that are created. Now, if you have identity manager and access manager in two separate domain like this, this is called as split domain topology or split domain deployment. If both identity manager and access manager are in the same domain and what a domain is, we've covered that into the WebLogic module earlier. If you have not watched that, it might be in one of the following modules. So if OIM and OAM are in single domain, that's called as single domain. If OIM and OAM are in separate domain like which is represented here, that's called as a split domain. So in our training, we are going to do a hands-on with a single domain where we'll create one domain both for Oracle Identity Manager and Access Manager. But if you want, you can do them in separate domain as well. And that's how you should do in separate domains in an enterprise deployment. 
then you have a manual installation so all this you have seen earlier so far we using automated you can do same thing using manual methods as well and that's what we are going to cover in the next lesson so let's do a quick recap on what we have done so far in this lesson so we started with the agenda of this module that is installation overview the idm lcm tool the manual installation installation high level steps detailed installation steps and finally the hands on we are going to do in this module so this particular lesson we started with installation overview where i explained that installation can be done either automated method using idm lcm tool or it can be done manually using manual method of installing and configuring we are going to focus on the manual method to install and configure in this training so i covered about idm lcm tool what it is this for what all things you can do and the various topologies that idm lcm tool supports now be careful in terms of as of today there are some limitations with this idm lcm tool so ensure that everything or the setup you want is being supported by idm lcm before proceeding using idm lcm you can always use the manual method and that's what we are going to cover in the next lesson so let's head on to the next lesson we are going to cover the single domain deployment using manual method and i'll see you in next lesson